Hey, what's up guys, it's Cypher. This is what I looked like nine months ago. I know, it's actually crazy. And this is how I look like now. And uh, don't worry, I'll show you a side-by-side -side later. But today, I'm gonna take you guys through the last nine months, how I went from looking like that to looking like this. We're gonna go through everything from what I eat to how I work out, and also the mentality behind approaching a transformation like this. Okay, so growing up, I played a lot of basketball and played a lot of video games. So I wasn't super buff or ripped, but I was definitely active. All of that really changed once I started streaming, especially when Fortnite came out. Like that was the grind time. That was the time to really take it seriously. I was streaming like 12 to 15 hours a day, every day for like the first six months of Fortnite. And as you guys know, like it obviously paid off. We blew up on YouTube, blew up on Twitch, but my health really came second, it actually came last to be honest with you. I ended up putting on a lot of weight. I felt unathletic. Even when I went to go play basketball with my brothers at 6'4", I couldn't dunk anymore. And I, I've been able to dunk since I was 14. As you guys know, we launched Metal Umbrella, our apparel company, and a big motivational factor of losing weight was I wanted to model in the metal umbrella clothing and I wanted to be confident when I did it and I wanted to be proud of this transformation while we launched this huge project that we've been working on. So that has been a huge motivation for me. I let myself go completely. I don't regret it because sometimes you do make some sacrifices, especially when you're chasing after your dreams. But in November of 2020, after like three years of Fortnite and streaming, I weighed myself and I weighed 265 pounds. That was the heaviest I've ever weighed, but I ended up putting out a tweet and I said, hey guys, I'm gonna go 100 days eating healthy and working out almost every single day. And I'm gonna track this and I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I want you guys to hold me accountable. And that tweet is where it all started. So I've tried to lose weight in the past and I've completely failed. But this time I had a plan. I was gonna eat healthy, count my calories, work out consistently, eat food that I actually still enjoyed and not starve myself. I'm gonna go into detail about all that stuff. At the start, I wasn't really counting calories. I really just wanted to be active every day. So I would go on 20, 30 minute walks. I would ride a bike, just do something every day, whether it was something small or big. And then I pretty much started just trying to make conscious decisions about what I was eating cutting out sodas, cutting out really unhealthy food and snacks. I didn't wanna just go head into it extreme like I did in the past. The reason why I failed a lot in the past is because I would deprive myself of any good food. I would work out like two hours a day and eat barely anything. And eventually, yeah, I would lose a little bit of weight, but then I would burn out and just quit and then go back to eating everything again. So what started off as just like two to three times a week eventually turned into five or six times. Even though it started off slow, as the weight started falling off, I wanted to take it more seriously. I started doing research, watching different YouTubers like Greg Doucette and even some fitness TikTok influencers that were showing up on my For You page. It can be very confusing and daunting and I didn't want that. I wanted it to be simple. I wanted it to be something that I could personally do. And I made a little notepad where I was tracking my weight loss from week to week. And like you can just see the numbers going down. And this kind of kept me motivated, being able to add a new like high score, I guess that's a low score, but you get what I'm saying, was keeping me motivated. Discipline is more important because you can be motivated for a few weeks or a month, but discipline is how you're gonna be able to make this change last your entire life. Okay, so let's talk about diet and basically what I'm eating. It's honestly very, very simple, okay? If you eat less calories than your body needs to maintain, you will lose fat, you will lose weight. If you eat more, you will gain weight. But you also wanna make sure that you're getting enough protein so that you can actually keep your muscles and build muscles so you can actually look good. Cause you don't wanna just get skinny, you also wanna look good and be strong. So that's why I always have the pancakes. They fill me up, they have protein. As somebody who's literally never cooked, this is the easiest thing to do. I have a scale here so I can actually scale out how much mix I'm using. But this is like 106 grams and ends up being 380 calories. And then I add one scoop of protein powder. You can use water if you want to, but I just use almond milk. I just do one cup of this. You don't have to be extremely accurate when you're measuring stuff. Now's the easy part. I'm gonna turn this on so it can start heating up. And I just mix this 
Now we add this, and I usually make four pancakes with this. It's definitely a little watery, but it'll cook. So basically, I try to get some protein with every meal, and these pancakes are filled with protein. The way you gotta go about it is you gotta actually like the food you're eating. If you hate the food you're eating, you're gonna end up failing and not really sticking to whatever diet you end up picking. So you might be wondering if I ever have cheat days. I absolutely do have cheat meals, not necessarily entire days where I just eat whatever. You can get away with having one cheat meal per week and you can still be on track. You might feel a little bit heavier the next day, but most of that is actually just water weight, which you will lose over the next few days really, really quickly. Okay, time to see if these will flip. There we go. And they're pretty much done. I get four really big pancakes, and this is all just about 500 calories and about 50 grams of protein. And I use sugar-free syrup and sometimes fat-free whipped cream to make it taste better. I also do sometimes have like meal prep stuff ready. And this is stuff that I buy, but you can make this stuff if you have the time. Sometimes I'll have protein shakes that I make with protein powder. And then in the pantry, I'm a big snacker. I like hot Cheetos, I like Takis. Something I didn't want to compromise on was getting rid of snacks. So my pantry is pretty much filled with snacks and stuff. So first, gum is great because it's like no calories. Protein chips like Quest is awesome. And also popcorn is low in calorie and somewhat filling. Rice cakes are kind of in the same category, low in calorie. And they help me like stay within my goal of being in a calorie deficit, which is literally the only way you can lose weight. But you don't want to be in too big of a deficit because then you burn out. Okay, so I wanted to know how many calories I needed to eat. I basically looked up a calorie calculator. So I put my age, which is 25, and then my height, six feet, four inches. My starting weight was 265. When it says like activity level, I ended up putting just one to three times per week. I wanted to keep it like realistic, especially right when I started. I set this up and then I hit calculate. And basically it says that to maintain my weight, I had to eat 3,147 calories. But if I wanted to lose two pounds per week, which is what I was going for, I needed to eat about 2,150 calories. So that's what we started with. I was eating about 2,200, 2,300 calories per day. I was losing about two pounds per week. But so here's the thing, like this calculator is not 100% accurate. A calorie calculator is gonna set you up in the right place, but you need to make personal adjustments based off of how your body is reacting, your energy levels, and your actual weight fluctuation. Another important thing is drinking water. Before this, I would drink like two cups of water a day. This is like almost a gallon of water, and I drink pretty much this entire thing throughout the day. This is how I personally do it. Water, honestly, is kind of boring, and only drinking water wasn't working for me. For me personally, I started incorporating sparkling water. It worked for me, you don't only have to drink water, but you do have to drink a lot of water. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about vitamins. I do take vitamins, multivitamins, fish oil, which is good for you, vitamin C, and it's just pretty basic stuff, just over-the-counter things, nothing crazy. I do take creatine, and this helps with recovery and muscle growth, and has been studied tremendously. I take five grams of creatine, monohydrate, nothing extra added in this. And sometimes when I'm low on energy, I'll have a pre-workout before my workout, and of course, I was eating close to 200 grams of protein per day and protein powder helped with that. So it's kind of crazy that I even have to say this, but I have seen certain comments on my social media, Instagram and whatnot, accusing me of taking different things. My physique is not that impressive. I just lost a lot of weight. So just want to put it out there. I am completely natural. No extra stuff, just some vitamins, some creatine, and some protein powder, and good healthy food and consistency. All right guys, so I'm about to get a workout in at home. I do have a home gym that I sometimes stream from. Sometimes I do go to the gym, and I'm here with my brother, Omar. What up guys? Omar has also lost like over 75 pounds. We've both kind of been keeping each other motivated and he's my workout partner. I think it's important to have a workout partner that can keep you motivated and help you out with your workouts. We try to hit each muscle group twice a week and give ourselves at least one or two rest days to recover. It's really important. Recovery is just as important as the workouts, but the most important thing of course is the diet. That's like 80% of it. So we do back and biceps, chest and triceps, legs and shoulders, rest day, and then we repeat that process and we sprinkle in some cardio. I don't do that much cardio, even though I lost a lot of weight, maybe 30 minutes a few times a week. 
So when we first started working out, we were only working out like one to two times per week. The important thing is that you're pushing your body during your workouts. And usually, you know, our workouts started off being like 30 minutes. Now we go for about an hour to an hour and a half. Right when you start, you're gonna be very, very sore, especially if you didn't really lift much before. But your body starts getting used to it. And if you get proper sleep, drink enough water and rest, you'll be able to work out five or six times a week if your schedule allows it. All right, so when you first start, you might not know how much weight, how many sets, how many reps. And I personally didn't either. I kind of looked up different workout plans that people have posted. There's a lot of useful information online, on YouTube, on Reddit. So obviously I have like a lot of equipment at home, the tonal, some weights, some dumbbells. You might think that you need all this to get started. I didn't have any of this when I first started. I was just doing very simple body weight stuff. And if you don't have the equipment, you can start with that until either you get some equipment or you sign up for the gym. And I do still go to a gym just so that I can be out and about and kind of have some different machines to work with. If anything, just a few dumbbells, some resistance bands, and some body weight exercises can get you started until you find equipment or join a gym. All right guys, so as you know, I played a lot of basketball growing up. It's a big passion of mine. Pretty much when I was growing up, basketball and gaming were my two top things that I love to do. But once I started streaming and I gained all the weight that I did, I couldn't dunk anymore. And I thought I was never gonna be able to dunk again. So after the weight loss, I'm gonna throw it down a few times for you guys. So that is the story of how I lost over 75 pounds in the last nine months. I hope this motivates some of you out there, gives some useful information. I know I'm not a trainer or a nutritionist, but I did a lot of research and I actually followed a lot of trainers and nutritionist information. And that's how I got the results that I got. Consistency, staying on top of things. And uh, hopefully this video gave you some insight as to what I personally did. If it motivates you, comment down below, tweet at me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.